Reaction, the co-host of the hit show, The Five, our friend Judge Janine Pirro is with us. You know what infuriates me about all of this is, you know, we have the re director right now for the third time in a row. He appears before Congress. The threat has never been greater that this country is about to be attacked again. Another 9-11. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's supposed to be the head of the top law enforcement agency in our country. We keep showing example after example of what illegal immigrants are doing. They enter the country illegally. They get out in states, no bail laws, sanctuary states. They flip the bird, then they go to another sanctuary state and commit more crimes. All right. But he's warning about terror threats. And yet, if you're the chief law enforcement officer of the FBI, why don't you go to the president of the United States and insist that he enforce the laws of this country so that maybe people from Afghanistan, Egypt, China, Russia, Iran, and Syria, maybe they'll stop coming in. I know, I live in a fantasy world, right, Judge? One where law and order would exist? Well, certainly Christopher Wray has gone before Congress. Congress can't do anything about this. The only person who can is Joe Biden. He refuses to. If he does anything at all, it'll be for the purpose of politics. Look, this Afghan uh, individual who came into this country in, in during 2023, Joe Biden's term, and is released as part of Joe Biden's catch and release, he's given an alternative to detention as if they take any of them into detention detention. And he's told, listen, do me, do us a favor, give us a call every now and then, let us know how you're doing. And in the meantime, you can apply for asylum. Within the year, he is roaming across the United States, and the FBI finds out that this guy is part of a virulently anti-Western, anti-American Islamic group. And so they tell ICE, you got to take him into custody. ICE takes him into country, uh, custody, takes him before an immigration judge, and these fools, these fools, I'm sorry, this is like a kangaroo court. They don't tell the judge that we have connected him with the most virulent terrorist, uh, anti-American terrorist group around, because they say that's classified information. And what they say to the judge is, look, we think he's a flight risk. So the immigration judge judge whose name I cannot get. I've been trying all day to get the name of this judge, because it's time we identified who these judges are and what they're doing. The judge releases them, and DHS—this is Mayorkas's group—they say, we won't disclose what we told to the judge, and we're limited in what we could tell the judge. So what happens now is, for the third time, we go out last night and pick this guy up. This country is filled just this year with 170 connected to the terror watch list. Joe Biden has created, as I've said many times, a globalist landing spot, which is nothing more than an, a, a, an area where people can come in for benefits. They can hate America. They can chant death to America. They can commit crimes in my old county of Westchester County. I was DA, had jurisdiction there. If those guys dare beat up the cops, if if they dare try to give the cops a hard time and preventing the cops from making an arrest, that wouldn't happen if I were the DA. But instead, How what they the do judge... is they release them, and they're back to do it again. We're like suckers in a game. Suckers is probably the right the right term. I mean, how did we become a country where we allow literally over 10 million people to come into our country illegally? Uh, we don't vet them. Uh, then they, we have to pay for their food and their housing and their education and health care yeah. and it and the costs added to the criminal justice system. Then mm -hmm. they get arrested for beating up cops. Mm -hmm. Then. They get let out because of no bail laws. Then they get to stay in a sanctuary city or state, flip us the bird, and and just go out and commit more crimes. And they get arrested again and again and again. And how we're supposed stupid to... are how dumb are we? Because that's we, dumb to me. It is dumb. It, we're supposed to suck it all up and respect these migrants. They're not migrants. They're illegals until they are recognized Thank as citizens. You. They, oh, you know what? The word illegal is in the in, is in the federal law 93 times. Illegal, illegal alien. Illegal alien. Yes, that's what it's they in are. There. They're not migrants. And by the way, this guy who's with this terrorist group who hates America, he is applying for asylum. How stupid are we? We've got to get 
rid of Joe Biden. We've got to get rid of the progressive. They're not progressive. They are Marxist, leftist people who don't care about American citizens. And I'm tired of money going to illegals. I'm sorry, but it's got to go to senior citizens who pick up food in a supermarket and put it in their basket and then take it out again. It's got to go to our veterans. It's about time we had a president and a country that respects the people who respect us. If you don't respect America, then get the hell out. You know, if it wasn't so serious, I'd make a joke and say, Judge, you get an F minus uh, from the wokeness <laughs> police because you dared to say the word illegal. I'm sure you'll have to come back on Monday like Joe Biden after the State of the Union and say, oh, I regret saying illegal. Why don't you apologize yeah. for getting Lincoln, not Lincoln Riley's name wrong? That's right. where the apology Instead should have been. Instead, he apologized the murderer by call, the Unreal. alleged murder by calling him uh, illegal, which is exactly what he is. We are living in a world where everything is upside Say it. down. Illegal. Illegal. All right. I got it. Take care. Judge, you, <laughs> okay, F minus on the wokeness, you know, scale, but I'll A plus it. from the show. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.